Alright guys, it's 23, so I'm back in another Peace Banish video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, the newly buffed Kizaru. I didn't want to make, like, every single unit have their own proper showcase. I know a lot of people have been doing that as of late. I kind of just wanted to pick and choose one of my favorites from what I saw on paper. And I also didn't want to play just, like, the EX, because I know everybody's playing Big Mom right now. And I do have her at 90. Um, so that's just something else for you to know. So if you actually do want me to play that new Big Mom, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but this is my Kizaru. I wanted to play him just because I just remember how god-awful he was <laughs> uh, pre-buff. And I really wanted to see how they would rework him. And I'll be honest, they, they did a phenomenal job with him. He's a little bit of a glitchy mess, though, I'd like to say. Which is actually gives you a lot more uh, laughs, if anything. Makes me laugh a lot. Uh, how glitchy he can be but he's a very very strong runner nowadays he's a very very good secondary um you know starting runner um but since i'm showcasing him he's always going to be my first um for the metal set i'm going to be using my uh, double gym base set well it should be triple but he's not max he's only 80 uh hp defense attack and then uh defense hp attack again and then the tags if you are interested it's captain fishman uh, Fishman Karate and Sun Pirates. Sun Pirates is reduction. Fishman Karate is also reduction, so it's double reduction. Uh, Fishman's a speed buff, and then Captain is cap, cap speed. So that's a pretty decent um, called runner set for that. Um, one of my little niche sets. I was going to use Kaido, but I decided to use this one instead because double reduction. At level uh, 80 is actually pretty nice. Um, stat wise, it's pretty good. 1.6k uh, HP, 365 attack, and 382 um, defense at boost 2. Uh, like I said, level 80. For his uh, skills, it's going to be uh, Yasakani Sacred Jewel. This is going to be long range uh, multi uh, area hit attack. And then we'll if I nullify stagger for a period of time. It also gives you knockback. The skill attack is 104 um, for 6 hits. Uh, even with the last hit as well with knockback. The cooldown is 28 seconds. This skill actually is pretty hard if you can get it uh, playing blank with every hit. Even like pre buff, I remember that thing was still hit pretty fucking hard um, for what it is. And then the other one is kind of his bread and butter, so it's Sacred Yadamir. Um, this one moves towards an enemy at a long range uh, and attacks. Nullify, nullify Stagger for a separate time. There's cooldown and effect for a separate time when the start of battle, so obviously you can't use it in the beginning of the battle. Um, the skill attack, if you do hit it, he does his little kick when he teleports. The kick is only 246, which isn't, isn't that high that much. I would have preferred if they buff that damage output to maybe 400. To make it worthwhile because to be honest that kick in general does not do that much damage anyway so it's really not worth using it um the cooldown is 49 seconds it's pretty uh high but he has a lot of traits to help that cooldown and then the uh, start of cooldown is seven uh seconds uh for that um and then for his skills or for his skills for his traits should i say um there's actually a really really good thing that makes him actually pretty pretty nice in this meta is the nullify stun that you see right there um which is great because roger can't uh stun you so you can just use your skill one knock him out the flag and boom there you go or you can even kill him for that matter um so when you're attacked by an enemy you have a 15 percent chance to reduce damage by 30 percent which is eh it's okay 15 is pretty decent for what it is but i wish that was a little bit higher or just straight up reduction um which does suck uh no if i stun like i said i want to attack by an enemy you have a two percent chance to dodge without taking damage so it's like that treble one but it's only two percent i know uh red Keta has that as well that was kind of like a shadow buff from what i remember i don't think he had that before and same with this kizaru i don't think he had that uh pre-buff so I'll just keep that in mind uh, when you perform perfect perfect dodge, you get a 15% HP uh, heal back, which is pretty good. And you also get an insta cooldown for dodge. And his animation for his dodge is also, in, in general, I like to um, compare like dodge animations with other uh, units. My personal like easy easy like easiest slash favorite dodge animation is always going to be Usopp's. Um, this guy is actually really good as well. He's probably Usopp's here on the dodge animation, so it's really easy to get those dodges. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then when you're on, when you're uh, around your enemy's treasure, you get 30% damage increase and also 30% reduction. Once again, that could have been at 60, but you know it's a 50%, 15% chance. Keep that in mind. Uh, when you get a flag, you also get skill two by 30%, so that long cooldown doesn't really matter if you're capping a lot. And then when there's fit, fit, uh, 90 seconds or less, uh, you also resist stagger being downed, and you also remove status effects and nullify status effects afflicted by enemy. I didn't forget that a lot. <laughs> it's actually really good. Um, that he does have that, but it is, like I said, a good secondary unit because that 90 second, um, you know, threshold. And then, obviously, if you want to do the math, 1 minute, 30 seconds, that's when you start getting those, uh, traits. And then when your allies are not near the treasure where you're at, you also increase damage double by 30%, and you also get 50% cap speed. And then when your HP is, uh, what's it, uh, 90, 97% or more, you also resist stagger as well. Um, and then on the side, I'm using Green Bull because they're just phenomenal together. I love Green Bull. He's really 
he's not the best anymore, I will say, but he's still pretty nice for what he is. Uh, you gotta be kind of careful. Um, that set was the Kaido one. Percentage wise, 160, uh, 167.3. And then the runners, Shock Pirates, uh, Permission New World, a little bit of Captain, Grand Line, Worst Gen Attacker, and Defender are my uh, traits. But yeah, like I said, this, um, this Kizaru, he got a really, really, really good uh, rework. Um, he was like borderline like dog shit <laughs> and now his normals are a lot quicker they have really good range my only uh, issue with him like I said is uh, he's a little bit glitchy um, if you like mid teleport like even in the animation and they hit you you can't get hit out of it and it's really weird but it's mainly funny to me so um, keep that in mind as well and then uh, he is pretty tanky I will say for what it is I've, tank uh, I've taken like, a bunch of skills be before with him and with relative uh, um, you know damage there wasn't really that much to to uh to do to me but um just keep that in mind he's not he's not the greatest at 80 i will say he would be a lot better at 100 but he's a pretty solid runner right now um but i think he's probably one of if not the best uh buff behind big mom obviously because they were both like borderline dog shit um but yeah let me know what you guys think about he's are in, in the comments down below uh do you think he's as good as i think he is because i think he's great honestly he's he's phenomenal Dep he's also map dependent too but yeah, let me know your thoughts on Kizaru in the comments down below. Let me know how well I did with him. And with that being said, the Steam 3 starts that out. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.
しいおかしいねの鏡油断したね遅いね八幡神の曲がたまこれを聞くねびっくりしたね即持ち油断したね遅いね